Good afternoon, Captain Retired Matt Edwards here with another short video. I thought I'd wing my way through the topic of duty. Now, I made a few notes, unlike normally, where I just wing some of these videos and I just talk without a script. This is not really a script. But I made a few notes to myself. I'm going to try to keep it to under three minutes or four. Now, what's inspiring this video is the idea of a fiduciary duty for a pension administrator to the beneficiaries of the plan. But the government denies that it has a fiduciary duty owing to us for our Canadian forces, our CMP, and public service pensions. That's utter bullshit. The reason it's utter bullshit is that the people that are holding on to your money owe you a fiduciary duty because it's not their property. Now, in the case of a public servant, I worked for CRA between 1991 and 2012, 21 years. During that time, I had money deducted from my pay for the Public Service Superannuation Act pension. Now, for the first period between 1991 and 2000, that money that was owed to me as a debt, a crown debt, was nothing more than a paper debt. I was recently reviewing the 1991 Auditor General report on this very issue, and the government used to borrow against our pensions. They paid less than market value, and they talked about the fact that the government owed money to the pensioners, the beneficiaries, plus current contributors. Because, basically, the government, in the case of the Public Service Superannuation Act, they try to match contributions. Now, on that note, there's a duty to obey the law, and not just statutory law, which is one of the things I wrote down here about there might be the duty to obey the Canadian Forces Superannuation Act. That's statutory law about pensions. But they also have a duty to obey the common law and equity law. Now, the thing is, when I served with CRA, so being, I'm skipping over a lot of it, because first from 1991 to 1994, I worked for Indian Northern Affairs, Canada, INAC, as a teacher. After that, I went to Canada Customs and Revenue Agency, CCRA, and I worked as a tax collector well, customs agent first, for two years. And then I went to St. John's from Gander, Newfoundland, and I worked as a tax collector between 1996 and 2012. Officially, I was disabled and couldn't work between 2009 and 2012. I was on leave without pay. Now, during the time that I was working for the government, the money that I earned was put away. Some money is paid to you, and some money is kept back for the future. Now, that's a future that is not easily predicted. You might never live to see your pension. You could work your entire career, pay into your pension, and then die on the last day of work and never draw a pension. Now, the thing about one of the major concerns I have with the way the government treats pensions, in fact, what I mentioned before, between 1991 in 1994, first when I joined the uh, government, there was an Auditor General's report that criticized many of the things that happened in the government. Now, a particular note is in 2000, the government passed a law that fixed a lot of the problems that the Auditor General report identified. Now, the thing is, is that we, or many people, are aware that the government has screwed people over on pensions, like the example of where they took the actuary surplus that they had, and they took it from the pensions and applied it to the debt, the national debt. In a perfect world, what they ought to have done is left that actual surplus there in case they had a deficit later. That's the way pensions are supposed to work. Now, another point I'll make, and I might make this in a later uh, video, but maybe I'll try to squeeze it in. I'll try to make this five minutes maximum, see on that, four and a half minutes. I just posted a note to my observation post group about the Canada Pension Plan and other pension contributions, the government only gives us credit for half in the tax on the taxes. Now, Canada has a tax policy of allowing you to deduct the amount of money that you don't get paid, you earn but didn't get paid, it gets put away for your future, and <clears throat> it's deducted as a tax a pension deduction. But they only allow half. 
the Canada Pension Plan, for example, if you're self-employed, you don't get double the pension because you pay twice as much contributions. You get exactly what the person who is employed gets. Now, the employed person gets half of the money taken after pay and sent to CRA, and that was my job with CRA, and the other half is taken by paid by the employer, and this is why I think the government is screwing us over with some things because the long-term disability plan, for example, service income support insurance plan, they should be deducting the Canada Pension Plan contributions ever since Bill C-13 in 2011. But that will be a liability for them, so they don't do it. Now, I'm going to call it quits on that one. I'm about six minutes, longer than I meant to, but again, without a script. Thanks for watching.